Hey guys, how's it going? Roger Daniel here in lovely Las Vegas, Nevada. It's about 104 degrees here, but here we are outside of Rogue Toys, Rogue Toys West as it's known. Um, so, you know, we're taking a, a nice little trip here to Las Vegas, you know, as part of Father's Day. And we figured we'd do a little bit of toy hunting and, you know, we've heard of, of many great things about this shop. So, without further ado, let's go inside and see what we can find. So Rogue Toys has been around for quite some time. They have three shops in Las Vegas, Nevada. Their Las Vegas West location and their Las Vegas East location. They also have a shop in Portland, Oregon, as well as Salt Lake City. I really like the way this shop was organized. They had a nice combination of vintage and new stuff alike. Right away, I was greeted by their friendly staff. They were very helpful. They had NECA, Marvel Legends, wrestling action figures. They had a nice Star Wars section, G.I. Joe, Barbie. Hot Wheels, you name it, all kinds of stuff. But one thing that I thought was really cool, especially for my son, is they had this awesome bin full of Legos and they basically give you this little box or baggie and you could fill it up for about $3.99. Another thing was they had some pretty interesting items here. Like I stumbled upon these Masters of the Universe vehicles from the Los Amos, the Mexican version of Masters of the Universe line. Another thing that I thought was awesome, as I was filming, they were rolling out these two box sets of muscle action figures. I mean, they were in pretty good condition. The price was very, very decent. As far as the prices are concerned, I felt they were pretty fair. One thing I do recommend is that you look through their $4 bins and their $5 bins because you could find some pretty decent gems hidden in there, as I did. So now I want to take this time to share some of the things that I picked up from Rogue Toys. Like I said, I didn't take a lot of money. But the fact that I was able to come out with what I did, with what little I had, was fairly awesome. Let's get to it. First is this karate from the New Adventures of He-Man. I've been trying to pick up a couple of these figures every time I see them out in the wild. It's great because his features still work pretty good. I'm really happy with this purchase. Next is this Thunderbolt from the Tonka Supernaturals line. I've seen this figure before in some collections and I always wanted to get my own. And to find one out there I think was pretty awesome. He has his chest piece. The best part about this is that the hologram still works and he has his shield and the hologram still works on the shield as well. So next is this wacky dude, it's Zok from the Stone Protectors. Now this is another figure I don't see out there in the wild that often and seeing him in such great condition for the price I thought was awesome. Most of these figures I was kind of digging through their loose stuff. It's always worth the search. You never know what you're going to find and that's one thing that I liked about this shop. They had a lot of little nice things just kind of hidden all throughout. So next this is a Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Recently been on the hunt for many of these classic WWE or WWF stars as I like to call it and finding this for about five bucks. Yes he's a little rough around the edges but that's that's okay. I can easily clean him up and he's going to display very well next to the rest of my wrestlers. And last but not least, this is a Dom Rick Mecha from the Gundam line. I love his color. I mean, I love these type of models and I definitely try to pick these up anytime I see them out in the wild, especially for good prices. One thing that was really cool was that at this particular location on the second Saturday of the month, they have their toy swap where collectors and vendors and people from all around come and they actually set up tables outside and they sell and trade their stuff. And unfortunately, I couldn't stick around for it to check it out. I would have loved to check it out. So that about does it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so once again, if you're ever in Las Vegas, make sure you check out Rogue Toys. There's um, three locations. They're fairly near the strip. I mean, I'd say maybe about a 15 to 18 minute drive, but it's definitely worth the visit. You never know what you're going to find. Plus, you know, it's also great that there's three locations to choose from. I hope to eventually return and do a more in-depth video on Rogue Toys as I've done with some of our toy stores in the past. Definitely want to go visit the downtown Las Vegas location and their new location, the East location. So hopefully, you know, we'll be returning to Vegas soon and visiting them once again. With that being said, folks, Take care, stay safe, wear that mask when you have to, and may those who play never gray. Thank you.